Hey, it's Andy from Fence Post, and today I'm gonna to tell you five things I love about Julia Jacklin's Crushing. This album came out in 2019, February of 2019, so it's been out for just about two years. It's kind of dominated my playlist since then. So reason number one, it's extremely vulnerable. You listen to a song like Body and you can hear her bearing her soul about it. From weaving in the story about the ex who couldn't get through a flight without lighting up in the bathroom to that person photographing her naked and possibly still having that photograph and, and using it to, you know, as some sort of revenge. Um, laying it all out there like that is what some of the best artists do. Number two, it's relatable. Don't Know How to Keep Loving You is super powerful. And in many ways, you can hear her struggling with the decision of like what to do with this person. She doesn't know how to keep loving them, yet there are so many ways that she kind of weaves it back and forth as to, yeah, she still does love him, but does she really love him? And all that kind of stuff. And you kind of aren't left with an idea of which direction she goes. It's kind of inconclusive. For that, it's, it's extremely relatable being up against an extremely difficult decision and not quite knowing which direction to turn. Very, very relatable, especially for someone like myself who is an Enneagram type nine and not the best at making those kinds of decisions. Number three, it kind of has this dualistic thing to it. It's quiet and subtle. At times it's borderline submissive even. Yet, there's this power and command that she has, and it just gets injected into every song. You hear it in the two I mentioned, you hear it in Good Guy, which is another favorite of mine off the album. It, it just leaves you wanting more. Number four, and you'll probably hear me say this a lot, there's this cohesive element to the vinyl which is green, and the cover, which has a lot of green in it. I love that cohesiveness. Even the back, green, it, it fits, it's, it's that theme. And I love it when the vinyl and the cover has this cohesiveness to it that, you, especially if it's colored vinyl, you gotta, this would look, Wrong if it was blue. It wouldn't work. I wouldn't buy it. Number five. This is her best work yet. By far. I also have Don't Let the Kids Win. It's good. I like it. But this album, hands down, my number one pick. I'm hoping, given that 2016's Don't Let the Kids Win, 2019's Crushing, that might mean we're due for a new album in 2022. Three years between the first two, maybe three years between the second and the third. I hope so. And I hope that that trend continues as well with Don't Let the Kids Win, Good, Crushing, Even Better. Hopefully what comes next tops them all. Anyways, I'm Andy from Fence Post. Check out the blog, I've got a link in the description over to my blog post where I talk about this album. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.